Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 18 of the Mobile Networks Fundamental Course. In the episode 17, in the previous episode, we discussed about EPS, EPS Eval Packet System and generally about MME, Mobility Management Functionalities. Uh, in this episode, uh, we want to uh, wanna, uh, talk and discuss about the functions and the uh, general overview about S Gateway, SGW, and PGW or P Gateway. This is our topic for today. Okay, before uh, before all, uh, let's uh, have a review on EPS Eval Packet System Network Functions. The EPS network performs the following logical functions. Network access control functions, one of the most important. Packet routing and transfer functions. As, as you know, packet routing and transfer is really important because all of us want to have a data and for having the, uh, the reliable and desired service, the, the routing and transfer should be happen. Uh, mobility management function, as I told to you in the previous session, it is very important and mandatory. Mobility, as the mobile names tell to us, is the fundamental concept and function in the mobile networks. Uh, security functions, radio resource, uh, security functions such as ciphering, uh, authentication, and uh, some other things that related to security. Uh, maybe I, uh, or I promise you, after all of this uh, uh, finish, maybe I uh, record uh, some videos on authentication and security functions for you. Okay, and radio resource management functions, and finally, uh, network management functions. These are uh, the EPS network function. Uh, as I told to you, uh, in the oh sorry let me because oh okay because this is the new version of uh, Microsoft uh, whiteboard uh, but I love the previous one uh, more but right now this is we should adapt to the changes as I told to you in the previous session we talked about MME and its functions but right now I want we want to go to talk about SGW so you can see that SGW has the both of the interfaces both for control plane as you can see for example S11 to the MME let me change the color you can see here S11 to the MME and also this is bidirectional and also to the E node B and also here to S gateway, to B gateway, sorry. We can see that here. Okay. Uh, and as we can see, for example, with E node B, and also here, we have GTP protocol for this. As I told to you, the protocol stack is like this IP, UDP, and GTP uh, but for this uh, for this interface GXC between S gateway SGW and PCRF policy and charging rule function we have GXC interface and the protocol here is diameter as, uh, as discussed before, diameter is uh, a protocol for authentication, authorization, and accounting, like, like uh, previous AAA and radius. And we have IP, CTP as transport protocol, and diameter. Okay. Uh, so we can see that both of the uh, uh, control and user plane or see here but if we see to the uh, position and role of this S gateway here we can see it's like a gateway from a side to for uh, for the radio part it's a gateway for radio part and again and 
one side to the packet gateway and also we can see as a proxy or topology hiding maybe at the security point of view so this acts like a gateway one side for the radio part and one side uh, a gate to the packet gateway okay so it is very natural and very uh, clear that our packet for example here we have uh, to have a to have running a web page or a, an application so it's uh, very clear that uh, the tunnel will be like this okay but uh, about the signaling uh, procedure and method and uh, mm, signaling follow i will discuss later don't worry just have the just i wanna t give you the big picture okay but let's go through the uh, functionalities of SGW okay. what are the functions functioning as the local mobility anchor point for inter inode B handovers uh, as I told to you before we have two types of handover one x2 and s1 is x2 is between inode b and inode b's between inode b's and s1 and the were inode b mme so it's like an anchor point uh, for inter inode b and doers because as um, as you know uh, let me uh, draw for you here and don't go to the and not going back to the topology maybe it's in node b1 if it's in node b1 it's in node b2 and the subscriber is going from this area to this area and we have also mme and here gateway we can see that is acting like a anchor point here okay for passing the data and signaling from this inode B to this inode B for handover and handle Mobility anchoring for inter 3GPP mobility. Uh, inter 3GPP maybe between some MMEs or some uh, other uh, nodes under 3GPP uh, standards. Okay, and supporting inter operator charging based on subscriber QoS classify class identifier uh, identifier QCI in granularity okay and accounting for interoperator charging for GTP based mm -hmm. supporting transport level packet mm, marking for uplink and downlink data and supporting packet routing and transfer uh, as you know uh, one of the mm, here we can see that uh, in this packet uh, routing and transfer uh, we know that uh, many nodes are involved and uh, one of the most important one is P gateway which you can see is connected to the packet gate packet data network like internet intranet and something else but S gateway or SGW is also important because you can see that here uh, is responsible it is responsible for um, receiving instructions and receiving commands from MME for example is it sends a create session request to this S gateway and respectively and uh, consequently 
S gateway will send this create session request to P gateway and a tunnel, a direct tunnel will be created for the user. So we can see that all of these uh, elements are involved in the uh, in, in delivering service to the customer, to the subscriber. Okay. These are the functions of uh, SGW. Uh, but, uh, but what are the functions of P gateway or PGW? P gateway acts like a rotor. Uh, the, the most important uh, function for this is routing and transfer the packets uh, and you can see uplink and downlink gateway control based on traffic packet filtering and IP address alloca allocation for the UEs in uh, this function is like the HCP exactly the HCP dynamic host configuration protocol for IPv4 and IPv6 each user equipment has an IP address and the IP allocation is uh, and PFA PGW is responsible for IP allocation uh, to the user equipments uh, based on the uh, profile, profile of the subscriber in the HSS uh, there are some IP pool defined in the uh, P gateway and according to them the subscriber will uh, an IP address will dedicate it to the subscriber uplink and downlink create enforcement based on the access point name aggregation maximum bitrate AP and AMVR access point name aggregation maximum bitrate uh, which is set uh, and configured in the HSS it's the maximum bitrate that the user can achieve and uh, the enforcement is done here the policy uh, you know uh, we didn't discuss about PCRF yet policy and charging rule function but these policies policies and uh, can be defined in the PCRF and the enforcement is done here so P gateway is also here is acting like PCEF you know uh, policy charging enforcement function we can see here we can we have we have PCRF here but in this scenario the P gateway is act like PCEF which enforce the uh, policies and also supporting uh, packet marking for uplink and downlink based on trust and transfer prior priority downlink rate enforcement based on based on guarantee bitrate GBR and also uplink and downlink charging based on traffic it is very important because uh, we should uh, P gateway should uh, have a connection with OCS online charging system and this interface is GY and usually based on diameter and it should be responsible for charging uh, of the subscribers okay and uh, I told to you the HCP IP, uh, like this IP address allocation, the HCP v4 uh, functions and uh, P gateway as the name says to us packet data network gateway is a gateway to other networks this network as I told to you we can, can be internet or some other packet data networks like IMS IP multimedia system which is responsible for voltage service so when you want when you call two subscriber voltage together uh, they go through this P gateway to the IMS network so P gateway is the entrance to the IMS network 
which I will discuss in details and uh, many uh, in many uh, episodes for you in the future. I hope that uh, this short video, this uh, short episode, will be useful and informative for you. In case of any question, feel free to contact me and uh, kindly send your uh, comments and feedbacks to me. It would be my pleasure to improve my work and uh, improve the quality of my trainings. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.